Hey friends, let's do some decluttering today. I am going to be doing a little makeover on my closet. I've hired someone from TaskRabbit to come over and wallpaper, so I need to clear the space out anyways, which gives me a chance to check in on everything that's been hiding. This is the main closet for my apartment, so I store a lot of different things in here. I've got not only my clothes, my shoes, my accessories, but also my linens, my electronics, my travel supplies, my luggage. And without a doubt, there are items that I have been holding onto some for many years that I just don't use anymore. So let's see what we can find to move on out and make some room. All right, I'm getting rid of the tall white bookshelf that was in the closet. I'm getting rid of this wire basket, this thing that would hold my socks and random items. And my clothing rack against this wall is also going. So I'm gonna downsize items. I have a dresser that's gonna be delivered later this week that will be able to store a lot of my clothing items. Let's go through and clear this wire mesh basket unit first and foremost. I'm feeling more and more of a pull towards minimalism and I really want to simplify everything I own down to the essentials. And I keep using that mindset as a guiding light as I check in with these things. And if I don't love it and I don't use it and I don't need it, it's gotta go. Round one done. These are the socks I'm keeping. They're all in good condition. These are my winter socks. These are kind of like my workout socks. These are all socks going in the trash. They're either just super scuzzy holes in them, all messed up. Belly button rings, I don't wear those anymore. And then Sage. Sage is kind of like a limited resource, so I definitely wanna either donate this or give it to someone. So that's donate pile. This is keep, it'll be relocated. All of this stuff is keep. That is so cool. Wow, that is, yeah, that is really cool. So I'm gonna take my parka out for the colder months and put all of my summer clothes. Oh, there's still lots of room in my storage basket. Wow. So there's all my summer clothes stored, vacuum sealed. I've never used one of these before, but highly recommend. Very cool. And now there's still lots of room in here to store anything else I want. Can't think of anything right now, but keep that as is for now and then i have these giant ones these really big ones are gonna do the bedding i wish i would have gotten a smaller one but oh well i'm just sipping my golden milk latte i want to thank biotrust for sponsoring today's video if you haven't heard of biotrust they are a leading premium nutritional product and supplement brand this here is their ageless multi-collagen turmeric powder and i do one scoop of this in my tea every morning I do a chai tea bag, a scoop of my collagen powder, and a dash of milk. I would spend $9 on this in Los Angeles to have one of these superfood lattes because it's chock full of antioxidants. Turmeric is an anti-aging superhero. There's just so many health benefits. So I take this not only for my skin health and for my gut health, but also for my joint health. I felt a huge shift and a huge difference. And I've tried living life with and without collagen powder and I feel the difference, so I'm a convert. I already know that this stuff totally works. There's a huge difference in quality and types of collagen. And what's great about Biotrust is they have five different types of collagen, not one or two like a lot of the other brands. You get all the antioxidant benefits of having turmeric and they have other beneficial spices. It's got cinnamon in there, it's got the black pepper, and it's just like a very delicious, 
calming drink. Whenever I have this, I feel like my whole nervous system settles in the morning. They have a very special offer for you guys. Click the link below in the description box to get up to 51% off your order, plus free shipping, and they give a 60 day money back guarantee. So you have nothing to lose. Thank you Biotrust for being such a quality company and for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to it. Once I have the closet wallpapered, I'm gonna move all of my hanging items back into the closet. I really want the uniformity of these wooden hangers in the actual closet. So one of the things I wanna do is switch out all of these velvet slim hangers for these. I need to buy a few more of these from Ikea. I have such few hanging items, I can absolutely switch over to the wooden hangers and it'll look good. This is gonna go declutter all of these. I did a clothing declutter a few months ago. I already know everything here is a keep. The only one I'm gonna get rid of is this pink dress. I wore it to the Barbie movie and I cut the sleeves. Kind of messed it up, but I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm gonna declutter this. These are travel bags, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put these two into my suitcase and my travel water bottle. Yeah, all of this I'm gonna put in my suitcase to store. to sell my Cricut because I don't really use it. Debating about keeping my printer. Not sure yet about that. Donate. I'm gonna donate this box. I don't really use. I'm gonna donate these motion sensor lights because I'm gonna get a lamp. Don't need all of these. Keep these two. Keep that. I want to donate these, used to be in my desk. Donate, donate, donate. This is something I really need to sort through. All of my bedding, my blankets, my comforters, my quilts. Like this is an area I probably could be considered kind of, I don't want to say hoarding, but collecting. I just really like, I like my bedding options. So let me see if there's anything I'm willing to let go of. I'm keeping all of my sheet sets within their pillowcase so they're organized. And these I will leave in my little linen box here. I have a pile of ones that I'm gonna donate, so I'm gonna donate this blanket or throw. These two pillowcases, this entire sheet set, this old silk pillowcase, this blanket. It goes to my weighted blanket. It's the cover and I never use it, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And then I'm going to use one of the vacuum seal bags to seal up my extra comforter this quilt, this extra comforter cover, duvet cover, these kind of like throw blankets I'm gonna keep in the living room because that's where I use these. So they will go there. Just got this from my sister's uh, garage, which we decluttered. It has a couple of tears, but I think it's very pretty. This one I made. All of this will go to Sway LA. They do uh, textile and clothing recycling. It's a local place here in LA. I'm gonna fill it with other things I'm going to donate as well so I can just do one big drop off. 
I find myself wanting to hold on to things when I've spent money and I haven't actually used it. When I've used something for years or it's really, I feel like it's gotten its use, it's easier for me to let go of it. But those items that I've purchased that were mistakes, like I have these boots I've held onto for 15 years. I've worn them once. They were way too small. I bought them on eBay, so I couldn't return it. And I have held on to these because I keep wanting to sell them, but I hate selling things. I get caught in this conundrum and the easier thing would be for me to just let it go. Even if I make a mistake in a purchase, it doesn't do me any good to hold on to it and to store it in my home. I might as well let it go, let it circulate out into the world and free up some space not just physical space in my apartment, but it also frees up mental space for me. I think my clutter threshold is getting lower and lower every single year. I'm finally gonna say goodbye to my fake Louis Vuitton luggage. I don't think I've ever used this once. It was a gift from a friend of mine. I know it's not real. It's also super damaged. But I mean, I liked having it in my closet, but I, I just, I never use it. So I'm gonna get rid of this extra neck pillow. This I will keep. Oh yeah, this sucks. This really sucks. This is going. I don't think I've ever worn these. Keep, 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 house shoes, keep, 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 yep. I can't believe I'm down to 13 pairs of shoes. When I started decluttering, I would say I probably had five times the amount, maybe 60, 70 pairs of shoes, most of which were never worn. Right now I'm really just organizing and sorting through these storage boxes that will live on the closet shelves to see if there's anything else that I can let go of. Here is the keep section. This is where I have my linens and my summer clothes stored. These are items that are gonna go into the dresser once I've built it. Pretty much all of these in the basket items. Suitcase will go on the top shelf of my closet. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use those baskets for organizing, but probably. And these are all different storage bins. This one is photos, mementos. This one is for Samson. This one is a whole bunch of hair supplies. This is all of my clothing care type things. And I'm not sure where that's gonna live in the closet yet, but this is the keep. All of the shoes are keep. And then all of this is what's leaving. I am pleased with the amount that is going out the door. I've got three big pieces of kind of furniture, I guess. I've got the old bookcase that's gonna be gone, that's broken. I've got the wardrobe unit that was against this wall, so that's completely cleared out. And then I've got the three tiered wired shelf that used to live in the closet. So all three of those items are going out the door and then I'm bringing in one dresser, which I've never had a real dresser in my apartment. I'm looking forward to having a dresser in my closet with drawers. What a concept. For the smaller things that I'm getting rid of, basically my guideline was if I haven't used it for a year, I already did a clothing declutter. You can see that video, I think it was maybe three or four months ago. So I didn't really need to go through my clothes. I got rid of, I think, just one dress, one pair of shoes, heels that I've never worn, maybe I've worn once, and then two pairs of boots, neither of which have been worn in the last year. Like these boots are so cute. It's a two inch heel. Hmm, now I'm second guessing. They're great boots. This is what happens. This is why I keep holding on to them. Okay, the other boots though, these are just too small. These boots I bought on eBay 15 years ago. They're three inch, three inch heels. They're just too small. They're fry boots. They're, I think they're the cutest boots ever, but um, I wore them once and then I had to have my roommate help me take them off because it was they were so tight and they're so uncomfortable. These definitely are gonna be uh, try to sell. Fry boots are expensive, so I mean, I feel like I can get some money for these. So I'm just gonna do thread up because it's the easiest thing. I don't have the bandwidth to try to sell things on Poshmark. So thread up, worst case scenario, it just gets donated, but at least I can try to make some money. Proud of myself for getting rid of my Louis Vuitton, my fake Louis. I do love Louis Vuitton. I like love the LV pattern, 
but I don't need a fake one sitting in my closet and it takes up a significant amount of shelf space. I just don't need it. I don't use it. I don't, I don't really love it. I would love to have a real one one day, but I can let go of the fake one. Proud of myself for getting rid of bedding, excessive bedding. I do love my sheets. These are things that I've been holding on to for years. A lot of times the items that I hold on to are those things that are maybe like more expensive or things that I bought that I know were mistakes, but I'm just like not ready to part ways with it yet. It's just so, so weird that I'm, it might happen with these boots. Oh, but am I gonna wear them? They're very nice and fall is coming. Let me see. I think they're a little too tight on my calf. I would really like to just get some that I'll really, yeah, I'm not gonna wear these now that I'm trying them on. No, I don't like the heel. Okay, good, good. Try it, try it and you'll know. Thanks for watching today's video. A little impromptu decluttering. I'm excited for you to see the closet. Wallpapering has already started going up so I don't want you to see the inside. Um, and then I'm gonna go to Home Depot and buy some paint because I'm gonna paint the trim. So it's gonna be like a cozy cottage feeling. That's the most that I'll say about it. Just daydreaming and fantasizing about, I don't know, living in the English countryside. So I'm making my closet my own little version of uh, English countryside cottage. Maybe it's more Scottish. Anyways, stay tuned. That'll be out within the week. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Leave me a comment. Talk to you soon. Bye.